What I would say I find most remarkable is the the great comfort that people find in all agreeing with each other. So I, I have never seen any international event so universally and so simplistically presented. You know, it's more and more being, the story is being told as if there's no context, no history, nothing happened before 17 days ago. Suddenly these Russians turned up in Ukraine. Huge surprise, you know. And of course I don't support the invasion of Ukraine at all. And I certainly don't support what's happening to the people there. But whenever I try to mention that this is a, this comes as a result of a history which we are involved in, we had a part in, quite a big part in, people say, oh, so you're a Putinist, are you? You support Putin. And this kind of them and us mentality seems to have dominated absolutely everybody, including all the liberals that I know. I had an incredible experience the other day. I was playing um, some songs to, some unreleased songs to some friends who wanted to record one of my unreleased songs. And I played one and they said, oh, that's really great. Love that one. Can we do that? And I said, yes. And they said, what's the name? I said, St. Petersburg. That was actually the name of the song. And they said, oh, I don't think we can do that. Can we do that? You know, and I thought, what is controversial about that? And are we really in a position now where we're going to say the Russians are so evil that everything that Russians have ever done must be cast away from us as though tainted by the devil? So I, I've never seen anything like this before. What we all have to do, I think, it's very clear from our conversation that we agree about quite a lot of things, and I can't think that it's only us. So we have to have the courage to actually start saying these things. I mean, it is very difficult because people really don't want to hear it. It's so comfortable, everybody agreeing about things and all taking the same point of view and feeling that we're all allied together in a very good cause. And, you know, there's no ambiguity about it. There's this evil bastard called Putin on the one side, and then there's us good Christians on the other side. Um, we, we really must, as much as we possibly can, say to everyone we know, it's a bit more simply complicated than that, you know. There's there's really a lot of other stories besides this single one that we're being told, and I mean it takes it does take courage to do it. You you feel you can feel the pressure if you even start to make a sentence about this. If you even say it might be a bit more complicated than that, you can feel the look yeah. coming on. But um, if of an, if enough of us can do it, and say, yes, we're sympathetic, but we're not completely hoodwinked. So I, I would like to recommend one book um, by a historian, a German historian called Sebastian Hafner called Defying Hitler. And it, for me, it's the best, best piece of writing about how a civilization falls in, down the hole. It's been a guiding light for me for a very long time. It just shows how easy it is for everyone to agree about the wrong thing.